Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to have a quick look at the Cressy Castora 5mm wetsuit that we've got available on our site. This particular one being the Cressy Ladies Castora wetsuit, meaning that it's a ladies suit, so that means it has bumps in all the right places. But the general makeup and quality of the suit between the men's and the ladies is exactly the same. I'll review it as a generic suit, but just make quick mentions of the fact that this is being the ladies ones. It's got bumps where you need it to make it more comfortable for the ladies to wear. So the suit itself, five millimeters the whole way down. It says Cressy Castora across the top over there to indicate what sort of suit it is. Um, it's got this nice sort of gray color. So it's a very monotone type suit the whole way through, but that sort of disappears when you're in the water. Also means it doesn't fade. If you get some of these brighter wet suits, all these pinks and weird colors, when it fades, it tends to go a pastel -y type color. Whereas these types of suits with these new monotone colors age really, really well. So I really like the, the accents that Cressy have put on as far as this type of color scheme is concerned. Um, if I go down over the knees, it's got quite a big, nice knee pad over there, made of this rubberized type paint. So if you rub your knees against the bottom of the boat, um, or if you're crawling up on the ladder and you need to put your knee on the boat itself to help yourself up, it's not going to damage the suit. Should you accidentally rub up against the coral, something you must never do because you're a good buoyancy diver, but should you accidentally rub up against the, the coral, this will also go a long way to protect the suit itself, and that's on the left and the right leg. On the base of the suit you have open cell neoprene on the wrists and ankles and that just seals up against your skin and reduces the amount of water flow in and out the suit which makes you a lot warmer through the dive. Um, the lady suit has more neoprene built over the bust area to make it more comfortable for the ladies. The guys wear suit has bigger shoulders to make it more comfortable for the, the guys to wear. And if you flip over to the back of the suit, you see it's got a really great quality marine grade YKK zip. And you have a Cressy tag at the bottom. This is a really great addition. So should you decide to zip the suit up yourself, you can just hang on to the tag and just pull that up. And that stops you from pulling the zip up and pulling it out of the, the base over here. Top tip from me, if you're on the beach, keeping in mind that diving is a buddy sport, is to call your buddy over and uh, just ask them to zip the seat up. So you arch your back out and they can zip the seat up. It makes it a lot more comfortable to get in and reduces the amount of strain that you put on the zip itself. It's got a long zip tag over here which makes it easier for you to pull down and pull up as you need and one of the great additions that Cressy put on here is this little velcro tag at the top so if you zip your suit the whole way to the top and put that velcro tag off put that velcro tag on it's going to stop the zip from coming down during a dive if you've ever been on a dive and the zip comes down it gets really cold so you want to make sure that that zips the whole way up and this will stop it from running down you have a Velcro neck seal at the top over there. So if you're on the boat and you get that gag reflex, you can loosen that up so it doesn't tickle the Adam's apple around the base of your throat. And when you're in the water, you can just tighten that up and that just seals up against the neck and goes a long way to keep you quite warm. If we uh, open up the suit, you can see there is more open cell neoprene over there and that sort of crosses over the zip itself and that stops or reduces the amount of water which is going in and out the suit and goes a long way to keep you warm. And you have your standard black neoprene on the inside there. The whole suit is five millimeters uh, thick. So this is good for temperate to slightly chillier water. So anything from sort of 26 and under, this suit would be ideal. In a pinch, you probably get away with around the 18 degree water there so if you're doing the odd sort of east coast dive where things are a little bit chilly you could get away with it cape town you would battle unless you had a chicken vest but for the likes of the alley wall shoal pe those types of areas all the way up to sidwana even in winter this is the ideal seat for you it's made of um Cressy have a high stretch. So this is A-grade neoprene in their comfort range, which is the one suit up from this. It's a super stretchy, uh, very, very plush neoprene that they've got there. So this is sort of the mid-range Cressy suit. Um, but I don't like to use the word mid because these days in scuba, specifically with the Cressy range, you get good, better, and best. So this would fit in around the better range, um, which is really, really comfortable and great for an avid diver. 
So you get the men's and the ladies, color schemes are the same, just bumps in different places and slightly shaped. Um, but overall, just a really good quality suit. It's the Cressy Castora five millimeter suit available from our website. So if you guys are enjoying the product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go over there and click subscribe. You can also go check us out on all our social streams. Just give scuba.coza a search and we're bound to come up, but you can like us and share our stuff and we'll keep you up to date with all the cool things that we've got going on. So that's it from me guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the water really soon.